Number seven, a little bit harder, okay? So you got a bakery up in San Francisco at Francisco's Bakery, and he's and he's doing a taste test for a chocolate donut, and then again for a bagel, okay? So he gets a group of how many people? He's got 30 customers, his regular customers, and he has them try the chocolate donut, and they rate it on how much they liked it, right? So 10 means they loved it, one mean they didn't like it, they hated it. So the higher the number, the more they liked it. He did that with the chocolate donut, and then with the same people, that's the important thing, with the same people, he had them rate a plain bagel. Again, rating it on a 1 to 10 scale. So did the customers significantly like the chocolate donuts over the bagels? Again, we're picking the chocolate donuts, so that means we're talking about a one-tailed t-test. So when we get to the SPSS sig value, p-value, we're going to divide that by two to get the final p-value. But let's go ahead and run this, baby. And again, it's a paired t-test because there's only one group. Everybody that tasted the chocolate donut also tasted the, uh, the bagel. I like both of them. I'll probably go with the chocolate. That's me. Okay, paired samples. All right, we're going to reset. So chocolate donuts, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then bagels. You know, it, it's really hot in my office. I wonder if that's making this computer be all wanky. All right, let's take a quick look. So chocolate was 7.3, very high on a scale of 1 to 10. The bagel was right in the middle, 5. So that looks like there's going to be a significant difference. But let's take a look. And there's our T value. And there's our sig value. Oh, yeah, my goodness gracious. It's much less than 0 0.05, the critical alpha. So, in other words, there was a significant difference in deliciousness ratings between the chocolate and the bagel. The, bag, the chocolate was much more significantly higher than the bagel. And let's get a Cohen's D. There it is right there, 0.8. So, the Cohen's D is always what we call the point estimate. Point estimate is anything. It could be the mean, a standard deviation, whatever you're looking for. But this, in this case, it's this, it's the Cohen's D equals 0.828, which is considered a very high effect size, which is good. All right, that's it. MGZ out.